Deus le vault. God wills it. This zealous shout resounds throughout Europe as news spreads of a third crusade called by the Pope himself. Three of Europe's most renowned rulers have sworn to fight. Frederick Barbarossa of the Holy Roman Empire, Philip Augustus of France, and Richard the Lionheart, King of England. While the Emperor Barbarossa marches his army across Europe, the kings of France and England sail to the Holy Land. Richard's journey, however, is as adventurous as one can expect of someone known as the Lionheart. A Mediterranean storm scatters the English fleet and shipwrecks many of Richard's ships on the island of Cyprus. The island's ruler and rebellious Byzantine lord, Isaac Komenos, has taken the stranded English prisoner. Among the captured is Richard's very own sister. Richard is determined to punish Komenos for this insult, but he also sees opportunity in these unfortunate events. Cyprus is an island of great strategic value. If the English can capture it, Cyprus could be used as a naval base for the crusade and raids on the wealthy Muslim trade ships. Richard's combined naval and land operations proved to be successful, and Cyprus was swiftly taken by the crusaders. Isaac was thrown into the dungeons, and Richard crowned himself king of the island. Richard then sailed east to resume his crusade. Upon his arrival in the Holy Land, however, Richard discovered that he alone remained to lead the crusade. Barbarossa had drowned crossing an Anatolian river, and Philip Augustus had returned to France with an illness. Despite these setbacks, Richard proved more than capable of the task ahead, matching wits with the famed Saladin. Richard is remembered as a brave warrior, a skilled commander, and a righteous king, renowned for his patronage of poetry, as well as his martial exploits. He remains the ideal of the romantic chivalric knight, and an iconic figure in both England and France.